Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Marisol Castro with the New York Mets, and I'm so happy to be joined by the newest Met, Francisco Lindor. Thank you for doing this with us. Francisco, where were you when you got the call that you were coming to New York? I was in the kitchen, not cooking, but I was in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> I was about to eat, and I saw the call that was coming. Um, the night before, I heard something from um, Chris Antonetti, and then around lunchtime, I received the call. I'm like, okay, this is, I guess this is it. Um, I didn't know where I was going, and it was a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. You know, Cleveland, Cleveland was home. I uh, respect everybody over there. It was, it was very comfortable going to work every single day over there. Um, but I'm looking forward to this this um, new chapter in my life. It's very exciting, very exciting. The buzz is real, and I'm yeah. very excited. It's very exciting for Mets fans. It's very exciting for us who are part of the Mets organization. And I noticed that on Instagram, you posted a montage of Mets legends. And I wonder where you see yourself fitting in that montage. <laughs> not, not, not in the middle, just like, like I was in that picture. Now, um, I, I haven't thrown a baseball for the Mets yet. So I have a lot of work to do. And uh, I'm looking forward to a challenge. I'm looking forward to a challenge. But I have heard that if you win, you can take over a city. So I, I can't wait for us to win and we all take over the city. I, I can tell you just looking at social media and reading the various and sundry periodicals here in New York City, people say you're a game changer. They say you're really one of the great players in Major League Baseball. My best one is OMG, the Mets got Francisco Lindor. <laughs> so you are, you are coming to a city that has fans that, that love our baseball players like unlike anything else, what do you want them to know about who you are as a person and what you're going to bring to this organization? Um, I want them to know and understand that I'm extremely blessed. I'm happy. I enjoy the game. I will give them everything I got. Um, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Um, and I'll gain their respect. And I'm looking forward to our experience. And now I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me, I'm going to do Francisco Lindor, and hopefully that's good enough for everybody. I think it was definitely going to be enough. Um, so we saw the picture uh, that James McCann posted, by the way, he was also in the kitchen when he got the call from the Mets organization, but he was cooking pancakes. Um, you uh, said you weren't cooking. No, I wasn't cooking. I was, I was. Uh, We're eating. Actually, actually, to be honest, I, so I started cooking. I was doing something with my nephew. And I did burn the pancakes. He was making pancakes, I, but we burnt it. So we, that's not our thing in the kitchen. That's not your I, thing. I think you and James McCann should do a little, a little tutorial. He can teach you how to make his chocolate chip pancakes without burning them. Okay. I, okay. I'm, Is that a deal? I'm, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. I like my other crispy on the edge. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been in contact with some of your your current teammates like, like Stroman, what have, what have been their messages to you? Um, they're excited, that, um, they can't wait. And uh, to, they have told me that they emphasize multiple times how good the clubhouse is, how nice people are, and uh, um, we have a chance of winning. And they just can't wait for us to get on the field and, and actually win. Yeah, I, I bet it's very exciting for everybody. Congratulations on your baby girl. Thank you. What's thank a, you. What is that experience like? How are you going to balance playing baseball and being a dad? Um, it's amazing. She's across from me right now. Um, it's seeing what you women go through. It's an eye opener. Um, and the respect grows even more. And yeah, it's been great. It's been great. Luckily, and we have been blessed with a little girl that her name is Kalina, and she doesn't wake up that many times at night. Um, she fusses here and there every other every other night, you know, once in a while. But she's ultimately she's great. Um, so I can't wait to continue to watch her grow and become a great woman. If you ever need an extra babysitter, once <laughs> all of this COVID stuff goes away, I'm on the fifth floor in the PA booth. <laughs> I can right. multitask. 
Yo, oh, yo, puedo yeah? ser la, yo puedo ser la Titi Mari, Titi Mari to the rescue, if you, if okay. you need a babysitter. Uh, I'll keep that in mind, for sure. I'll take them off your I, And I'm, I'm really cheap. I'm only like $100 an hour, so you'll be fine. Um, we'll your nickname, it depends how everything goes. <laughs> exactly. Your nickname is obviously The Smile. That's not a secret to anyone. But I know that uh, you have strong baseball roots in Puerto Rico. And you mentioned you want to be known as Paquito. Who is Paquito and what should we know about him? Paquito is this little kid that enjoys the game, that um, did everything he could to achieve his goals and dreams. Um, and it was then everybody, everybody in Puerto Rico that knew me then calls me Paquito. Um, it was this little kid that wasn't famous. It was just a good athlete, baseball player, and a good person um, that care about his teammate, care about his family. And yeah, you come up to big stage and everybody is, oh, Lindor, Lindor, Lindor. Well, in, my, in my eyes, Lindor is my dad. I'm Francisco, I'm Paquito. Um, so yeah, uh, I want people to get to know that I'm just a little kid at heart and smiles and has fun and cares about other people. And um, yeah, this is, this is me. This is I am. You, you come to New York with another great pitcher, Cookie Carrasco. Tell us about your relationship with him and, and what we can expect from you guys. Carrasco is awesome. He, um, he's a great person, a uh, great teammate. He cares a lot the, pe the person next to him. Uh, he's genuine. He's got beautiful daughters. And a, a young boy, um, Camila and Emma, they're beautiful. I love these two little girls, and um, every time I see them, I get excited. I give them hugs, and uh, um, his wife Carrie, they, they, they all, they're all of them, the, the whole family is great. The Alaska family is great. I'm looking forward to share this new experience with him. Um, it's definitely going to be fun. I love it. So um, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I have just quick, quick, random questions for you. Are you game? Here we go. Here we Here go. We go. What's your favorite food? And if you don't say mofongo, no. I have to end this conversation. Mahari, What's your favorite food? I'm sorry, Mahari. You might have to end the pizza. Pizza and lasagna. Pizza and pizza. lasagna. Pizza right. and lasagna. I, I'll, I'll eat pizza all day, every day. Mofongo, it's good, but mofongo is more pachincho real, like once in a while, you know, like I, I'm, Pizza, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Pizza, breakfast, lunch. We're going to have to find your favorite pizza place in New York. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, we can go pizza hunting one day in New York once it's all this. this yes. What is your favorite non-baseball thing to do? Spend time with my family. Spend time with my family. Um, either they make fun of me or make fun of them or um, talk a lot of trash back and forth. Uh, and then ride my bike. I love riding my bike. It's. I was going to say, I saw a picture of you on Instagram. You look like you're ready for the Tour de France. You have like the I, whole getup. I've been, hey, I've been joking with my family that in a few years, they might see me up a mountain in, in France. They might, they might not see me with a baseball helmet. They might be seeing me with a cycling well, helmet. So we'll see. Don't, don't take up too much biking yet. Wait till, wait. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Not, no, no, not yet, yet, not yet. I still, still got a few train. things I got. Yeah, I still yeah. got a few things I got to do in baseball. Yes. What is the best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Stay through to yourself. Continue to be are who you are. Are you binge watching anything on a streaming service, a television show? Is there anything that you that you really love watching? Not really. Lately, I'm, I just watch a lot of things with like watches and. Cars. I love cars and watches. So I'm always okay. like on YouTube watching cars, watching watches, and then I'm then, uh, learning how to ride my bike. Techniques to be faster so I can fine tune it when I become a professional cyclist. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What, uh, what kind of music do you like? What is your favorite music? Everything but country and uh, hard metallic rock. That's too much. Mm -hmm. But I like everything. I like, you know, Puerto Ricans. You know how we do. You know, I'm growing up with uh, no way. Well, we have so. to talk about Bob Bunny because you were, you were in a video. Yeah, Bob Bunny, he's the man. He's doing what was that like? 
<laughs> it was fun. It was fun. I mean, it, it, it was cool. It was cool to be able to be in one of his um, songs and to be able to, it was the first video he took, um, he put out the, from that album. So it was, it was special for sure. What is your pregame ritual? Sleep. Your pregame, what do you do before every game? Do you have like a, a ritual? I sleep. I sleep, sleep. Every, before, every, yeah, before every game. I take 20 and 25 minutes just to sleep. Or at least like shut my eyes, um, if I can. But in 19, I got hurt. And I used to be the same, do the same thing at the same time, the, like put the socks the same way, like dress up the same way, um, same tight, same socks, you know, like that's how I used to be. And then I got hurt. And then I just didn't have time because I had to do so many things to get ready um, to warm up, to get ready for the game. I was like, you know what? I'm having success. I don't need to be superstitious. This is not the, like, wearing the socks the same way every single day is not giving me hits. It don't matter. Preparing for the game, that's what gives me hits. So after 19, during 19, after 19, I was like, you know what? I just, as long as I take my 20 to 25 minutes to meditate and sleep a little bit, relax, I'll be fine. Are you a left side sleeper, right side on your back? Do you have a blanket? Um, at home, I'm right side or face down. Um, clubhouse, face up, and something on my face. Can't, can't be vulnerable. Can't leave my mouth open for, for them <laughs> to take pictures. <laughs> Got to put something on my face. Is there anything I didn't get to ask you that you wanted to tell us? or to Mets fans? Um, oh, I'm looking forward to all the experience. I thank all the fans for embracing me as of right now. Um, and I can't wait to go out there and, and show the world what the Mets can do. That is all we have for today. I have one last question. What toothpaste do you use? Because those teeth <laughs> really are something else. <laughs> um, so I used to use um, Crest. Mm -hmm. But ever since my fiance is in my house, we gotta use organic stuff around this house. Yes, so yes. I don't, I don't know the brand, um, but I know it's organic. I know it's okay. something really clean. So, <laughs> have you ever had? Have you ever had braces? Yeah, I did. I had braces. My teeth were like neighbors I never met before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. So now they they met and they get along and I put a retainer in there. That way they they got to stay together. They ain't coming. They they're not separating. <laughs> yeah. totally not. Thank you so much for your time. Right. Welcome right. to the New York Mets. Uh, we can't wait to see you at City Field. Thank you. Can't wait to see you. Thank you so much for watching, and we certainly can't wait to see you at the ballpark.